Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel, and I'm using a Flash game for this because I don't have any games installed on this laptop. Wow, I'm terrible at mini golf. Anyway, um, today's video is all about like what I'm thinking about doing with the future of my channel and all that. That is a very steep hill. As well as, you know, getting hacked yesterday, you know, what happened there? How did it happen? Why did it happen? I'm going to give you the short and sweet answer real quick of I don't know how it happened. I'm terrible at putt-putt. I don't know how it happened because, frankly, my passwords are insane. Um, and I know for a fact they didn't get my password because... I didn't get the two-factor authentication um, pop-up on my phone when they initially connected to my YouTube channel and started streaming and changing all my info. So I'm guessing it was some sort of app from my past that I've used that I gave permissions to with my uh, Google Play account to basically do, you know, kind of whatever with, uh, probably for some game saving or something like that. Or it was a malicious modified APK, who knows. But they basically deleted or privated all my videos. They tried, they changed my channel name. They started streaming and I'm not sure exactly how they did all that. So while I'm not mad, really, because, you know, everybody's got to learn eventually how to deal with that crap. It happens, you know. I'll just take it for what it was, and, you know, that's it. That's all I can do, really. So, at this point, it's like, what should I do with my channel? Because I've had a YouTube channel now for over 10 years, and obviously I hadn't used it much recently until, you know, it got hacked yesterday and I didn't really know what to do with it. But I do finally have a laptop set up that I can live stream or, well, I can record videos in basic form with. It's not the best laptop in the world. It's some Lenovo 8th gen CPU, uh, Intel 8th gen i5 with, uh until obtained memory in it and all this stuff. It's not bad for what it is, but it's not going to replace my desktop. So what I'm thinking is I'll use this for the time being to get videos started and maybe I'll do videos like once a week. Um, and then from there, I'll even make a video or a stream rebuilding my desktop. I need to get my hot air station out to fix my motherboard, which could be a cool video. Um, the M.2 slot is broken where the actual anchor screws go in and i tried ghetto methods to fix it but ghetto methods didn't work so i'm gonna have to do it right and i'm gonna do it i just need to find the time and get my hot air station set up and if i want to stream the um if i want to stream it you know i gotta obviously get a camera set up and all that which i might just use my phone for uh, phone cameras are way better than any webcam I can afford. And there is an app called... Um, oh, yeah, I restarted my phone a while ago. I haven't turned it back on since. There's an app called Droid Camera for OBS that you can use your phone as a camera. Or you can just, you know, open the camera app. But I'm not going to do that. So I might make a video repairing my old motherboard. And then I'll put my computer back together. Problem being, also, I don't have a case. So maybe I'll wall mount to my computer. I don't know. I do have a lot of spare walls. A lot of bare walls. I don't know. What do you guys want to see on the channel? I have a future video already recorded. Uh, installing Lineage OS Android 11. To a Razer Phone 2 and how to root it. As well as, I just tried to use my phone as a mouse pad. Um, as well as a couple other things. I was going to switch back to the Razer Phone 2 as a daily phone to use because I really don't like my... Um, I really don't like the OnePlus uh, 
7 Pro that I have. I like the storage amount. It's a 256 gig storage phone. But the actual phone itself, I hate OnePlus's stock Android system. It's kind of terrible. And I want to put a ROM on the device. But the Sprint variation of my phone makes it notoriously difficult to put ROMs on. It's not like a normal OnePlus 7 Pro. I just hit that twice. Why did I even bother? Oh, Jesus. So, obviously, I need to find a better phone. The issue with the Razer phone is the storage. They're only 64 gigs. It's terrible. I have 100 gigs of music alone on my OnePlus. <laughs> so, you know, I just got to find a phone. I have a 256 gig iPhone that maybe one of these days will sit around and I'll root it. Root it. I'll jailbreak it and see if I can find an iCloud bypass myself. Highly doubt it. Um, but if I could switch to that and then put all my music on that phone, that would be awesome. Because honestly, iPhones aren't as bad as people make them out to be. I do like iPhones. It's Apple as a company I don't like. So it's like, what do I do? Could I switch? Oh, this is a good placement. Please stop bouncing. Finally, I'm going to finish this damn hole. If I can find an iCloud bypass, you know, I can use that phone. I know there is an iCloud bypass as long as you can jailbreak. It's just figuring it out because I don't feel like spending $70 to get this phone unlocked. When, you know, it might be worth it. But at the end of the day... I also don't have $70 to just throw away if I truly wanted to do it. So I don't know if I want to use a phone like that. But, you know, other content on the channel will probably be, you know, messing with phones, doing repairs uh, on my channel via live stream. Uh, modifying old game consoles to have HDMI out, uh, software modding and jailbreaking old consoles. I cannot tell you how many Nintendo Wiis I own. I would like to do an HDMI mod to one of my Nintendo 64s, but I don't have a Dremel yet, so I can't do it cleanly. Other than that, it's just a lot of electronics I have laying around my house, and then after the streams, I would put them on eBay anyway because they're repaired and I don't need them anymore. So you guys could even get a piece of the pot and, you know, I could give you guys coupon codes if you want to buy the console that I just repaired on stream. You know, it could be a cool little concept. I haven't seen. I know there's YouTube creators who do that, but I don't think they talk about it or they don't let their eBay accounts be known. So we'll figure something out. I don't know. What would you guys want to see on the channel if I come back? I know people want Lith Tech stuff. That's definitely going to be a thing. I want to make more Lith Tech stuff, but I, again, I need to have some form of a basic gaming computer to actually really do what I need to do as far as video recordings of anything Lith Tech related. Because, oh, that didn't look like it was going to stay there. But other than that, I'm not really sure what to do with my channel. It's nearly 10 years old. I want to rebrand it for the gaming, modding, and repairs. But when I say modding, I mean like hacking old game consoles and stuff. I don't want to hack games anymore. Hacking games is tiring. It destroys communities as far as online games are concerned. And it's just not something I want to do anymore. So... I mean, I'll mod a game for myself, sure. I'll do, you know, I'll make a No limit APK for myself. But I'm not going to sit here and release it and destroy the No Limits community or something like that. Because that's just not what I want to do. I mean, yeah, I can try to 
maybe help the developers instead, that could be really cool. But again, you can't make videos showing off exploits in a game because then people are just going to learn what those exploits are and try to use them themselves. So it's like, what do you really do in that situation? Uh, bouncy. I didn't mean to click. That was a situation of the mouse clicking because it's a laptop touchpad. Stop. Thank you. And, oh. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just what direction do I want to take the channel? I want to mature up the content, so to speak. I could even do vlogs once in a while when I go to the drag strip and stuff like that. You know, friends have wanted me to do that. Um, I've even had people who are subscribed to me say they want me to do that. So, you know, that's something I might do. Because it sounds fun, you know. I go to the racetrack at least three or four times per summer with whatever car I'm currently, you know, modifying and messing with. Um, I am in talks with somebody about trading away the 92 Prelude for a 2003 Golf GTI. This is a really dumb obstacle. It's already KO Ford. It's already tuned uh, by APR, which, you know, I wouldn't want an APR tune myself. I would probably get it tuned by United Motorsport again. But I miss my Volkswagen Golfs. I had that 2012R, and it was a fantastic vehicle when it decided to run right. <laughs> so anyway, I don't know. I'm kind of just blabbering at this point because I don't really know what else to talk about. And you can't get a mid-roll without a video being 10 minutes. <laughs> Suckers. Let me know what you guys want to see on the channel, though, and we'll figure it out. I would even love doing something like an old-school Flash game series like I'm doing right now. Play an old-school Flash game, see if we can beat them because Flash games are the best. Uh, they're far better than today's mobile games. So let me know what you guys want to do down in the comments. And watch out for the Razer Phone 2 video coming out. That should be out next week because I think I'm going to do one video per week to start until I get my computer repaired, my setup fully complete, um, a computer case. Because all the computer cases I have, while I can use them... Um, they're either old and too small and don't have good ventilation or broken. So, I don't know. I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.